Hello everyone, this is Christina, and I'm going to show you how to use a pre-made template out of Canva to create your obituary. So we're just going to simply look up in Canva, obituary, funeral obituaries, and you can see that they have a couple of different variations. So you can use this just for the wording, or you can also use it for the layout. So I'm going to just pick one to show you how to do it from a full layout. That way you already have the dimensions down, and all you have to do is add your element. So I, I picked this one because it does already have the wording and the basic layout. So all I would have to do is change the background pictures. So first, I always start off by just removing all of the elements that I know I'm not going to use. So I'll just go through, delete everything that I'm not going to use, and then start from the basic setup. So I deleted all of the flowers, and I'm looking at the setup and how I want it to go. Normally... On the left side, you would have the back of the program. On the right side should be the front. And it should be, for the next page, you should have the obituary and the order of service. That way, when you print it, it'll print correctly. So now, I'm simply just moving, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm moving the elements to the right position. So I'm going to move the obituary section to the left side of the second page so that it would technically be on the front side on the back of the front side of what the picture is. And then the acknowledgments, I'm going to move to the back of the obituary because that's tend to be where your acknowledgments, your pallbearers, and things like that. So literally the easiest way that I find to do it when they have it broke up and not in one bit block is I'll just select shift, hold shift, and then select everything. And that'll I'll group it together. I'll ungroup it later, but for right now, I'll just group it together to make it easier to move. And so I literally just go through this process of putting everything where I want it to be before I ever even start. That way you can also reuse this template. So what you would do is save it. Once you get to do a personal obituary, you would just copy this. So you would copy the project and then you would work on it in the new project. That way you always have the template that you can go back to and reuse over time. So here I'm again, I'm just, I'm going to select everything under order of service. I'm going to go to arrange, hit center, and then it's going to make everything align. I'm going to take the thank you and the comment. I'm going to center that, but I'm also going to move, I'm going to eventually move that to the back because the thank you should be on the back side of the obituary. So where like your pallbearers, your personal acknowledgement or poem sometimes. So you don't have to do the acknowledgement. It's just the template. So you can change the acknowledgement section to say um, a poem or a special word or something like that. Like I said, this is just your basic layout, just a basic template that you can use to help you further along. The process so you would already have everything together all you would really have to do is come in change out your wording add your pictures add your decoration you could also just copy and paste this onto another <clears throat> another template the portions that you are going to use but this is just a basic template that you can use it's already pre-sized so all you would do is have to literally do your do your uh, obituary, and then you can just print it just straight like this, and it'll be one full sheet. You'll print two sheets, do it front and back, and then you'll have a basic four-page template. So you see I'm still moving the elements to the different positions. A lot of times I always like to do a family photo and a thank you from the family on the back. It's just a lot of people use obituaries, for things with the family as far as lineage or if somebody else dies, I know a lot of people go to old obituaries and pull up that information, but it also just, you know, the pictures, you know, you can keep and, you know, it's just the extra thing that you can take home with you and you can look back at. So that's why I do like to add a lot of pictures that way. It's just something that you can have extra pictures of people in your family. You'll never have a shortage of those especially nowadays we don't get together as much so having those extra pictures i feel like is just a plus and you can add more elements 
like a lot of times on the front, you know, people at the church, the city, the state, the time of service, what services they're having. So just because these are the basic elements they have don't mean that you can't add more. So I'm just literally just adding a few more little details, especially if they're details that you know you put in all of your your uh, obituaries. Like if you always do a poem, go ahead and add that. So when you use this template for an, another obituary, you already have your key elements. So all you're essentially doing is adding your photos, changing out your wording, and it will speed up your process. So... <clears throat> excuse me, just think about the elements that you tend to like to use. Just start with those basic elements. Elements, you can add wording, you can take away wording, but this is just a basic template that you can use that's already pre-done that you made to your liking to help you along the way when you're doing your, your obituaries. So you see, it's literally just your basics. It's all of your words, your order of service, and so that that's just the basics. So you can also go ahead and, like I said, I like to add pictures. Use your frame and your elements, and you can go ahead and add your frame. That way, all you have to do is drop and drag the pictures once you decide <clears throat> once you decide on the actual type of obituary that you're going to do. So here, I literally am just copy and pasting the the frames i'm gonna select all of the frames and resize them at one time to fit the actual space so yeah you see it's like going off the screen a little bit that's because i just know i want the six <clears throat> the six pictures double stacked so here you see me literally just making it fit into the space and then i'm going to align it with the photo on the left i'm going to make the photo on the left a little bit longer as well <clears throat> That way, it'll just look more aesthetically pleasing. It'll just match. It'll line up. It'll look nicer. And you, like I said, this is just a template. You can go back. You can add other elements. But this is just your basic template. It's already pre-sized. So you're not doing that much work. So with everything done now, literally all you have to do with this template is come in, change your word wording, drop your pictures in, and add the elements like, you know, the background, the dove, the person. So this is literally a preset up template now. Literally, all you got to do is go ahead and start adding the personal touches. But this is it. This is a basic template and it shows you how to just set one up using Canva. So it's already pre-sized. You don't have to worry about that. But that's it. Um, I hope this helps uh, you guys set up a basic template. I appreciate you and look forward to the next video.